he was a model, model person. He was. It's been almost four years since Julie Sweat lost her son Wade to an accidental overdose of powdered caffeine. Sweat thinks her cautious, health-conscious son wasn't sure how much to use. If someone had told him, be careful, that might hurt you, he would not have done it. Doctors told the family Wade had the caffeine equivalent of about 50 cups of coffee in his system before he died. Since then, the sweats have made it their mission to warn others, wearing pictures of Wade as they talk to the FDA and members of Congress. We know that if Wade had lived through it, he would have done what we're doing, only he would have been better at it than we are. Last week, the FDA announced powdered or liquid supplements with pure or highly concentrated caffeine are illegal when sold in bulk directly to consumers. A bittersweet victory for Wade's family. We are really just taking a deep breath and we are thanking God every day for a life that could be saved tomorrow. The FDA says less than two tablespoons of some forms of pure caffeine powder can be deadly. And given the significant public health concern, the agency, agency's decision went into effect immediately. An Alabama columnist and the